Tonight on Evening Magazine, meet a real-life Tootsie who claims it's easier to get work when he dresses up as a sheep. Our next story is one of my all-time favorites. It's about a guy who, like a lot of people, had dreams of making it big in show business. His name is Gray Phillips, a performer who just kept struggling along until he got an offer he couldn't refuse. Well, the National Enquirer isn't generally the first paper that I pick up, you know that. But this headline I found... <laughs> oh, a little disclaimer there, huh? <laughs> I've seen him in your office. <laughs> this headline, oh, give though, me that. is very intriguing. Singer couldn't get a job until he started dressing like a gal. But it turns out that the singer is a real-life Tootsie. Well, actually, his name is Gray Phillips. He was bouncing around New York trying to get a show business break when Gray got an offer he couldn't refuse. Hundreds of thousands of actors audition for roles each and every day. Few walk away with jobs. The process can be intimidating and ultimately frustrating, especially for singer Gray Phillips. I didn't get anything. I mean, this went on for years. I was doing four auditions a day. I think everyone was calling me the audition kid. Gray was having a difficult time finding work. That was before he met with three producers who offered The Soprano an interesting proposition. They said, we'll produce you if you cross-dress and do something similar to Boy George. It wasn't until a year later that male singer Gray Phillips transformed into female singer Gray Phillips. All you need for relaxation, Daddy. I want some charge accounts at Saks for large amounts, Daddy. You ought to get the best for me. Few audiences know Gray is a man when he's performing in clubs throughout New York, but like Dustin Hoffman in the popular film, Gray is a real life Tootsie. Well, it works. But what? Well, don't play hard to get. I don't want them to see the male gray inside the female, but I could actually book myself from the male and have the female show up. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice. Apprehensive about their reaction, Gray hid the act from his family for seven years. They found out after he started appearing on national talk shows. Right. I love this. You went in and right. you sold this thing. Yeah, cassettes, everything, my pictures, the whole, you've got... The good news is that his singing career is in high gear. He's in the planning stages of an HBO special, and a couple of months ago, Madonna brought a couple of dozen friends to see him perform at a club called Tattoo in New York City. 